Hey everybody and welcome. I'm Aaron Smith and I'll be here with you on your journey to learning advanced VEX in Houdini. In this course, I'll be providing a complete understanding of the VEX language in Houdini, as well as teaching complex techniques including data structures, algorithms, and programming concepts in order to give you a new technical understanding of how you can approach problem solving in Houdini. Just to give you a brief overview of who I am, I am currently a senior Houdini generalist working in TV and design, having been in the industry for almost a decade. I've worked on shows such as Black Mirror and The Crown, as well as music videos for artists such as Billie Eilish and Lil Nas X. I first learned Houdini because I was drawn to proceduralism and how efficiently it allowed me to work, spending more time on being creative and solving problems in a straightforward, intuitive way. As time progressed, I found myself drawn more and more to the technical aspects of programming, leading me to learning VEX and falling in love with everything the language had to offer me. This course is for people who love to delve into the software like I do, exploring new ways of approaching problems, and is designed to be repeated, paused, and restarted until you get a solid grasp of the material. Each week we'll progressively explore more complex and nuanced topics, with optional homework to allow you to put your own spin on the subjects, as well as bonus lessons for those who may be looking to build upon their showreel. In the first week, I'll explain fundamental programming concepts to help get you off the ground with VEX. I'll explain the functionalities of the language, as well as ways in which we can adjust our thinking and troubleshooting methods to suit it. I'll also show some unique use cases for VEX and how you can integrate it with your current 3D workflow. In the second week, we'll use VEX as a way to visualize ideas, learning more complex concepts such as basic data structures and their place inside of Houdini. These lessons will allow us to start building projects entirely with VEX. By the third week, we'll begin to plan and design like we're creating software, learning the thinking required for structuring a larger project and creating tools that can be understood and used inside of a team environment. For weeks four and five, we'll begin to think algorithmically, implementing mathematical concepts and learning more about those that sit under the hood of Houdini. We'll explore basic machine learning concepts and use these concepts to enhance the way we think about problems in VEX. And once we've learned more about new complex workflows that we can use to create visual outcomes difficult to achieve with the standard tools, we'll move on to the final project which will be a culmination of everything we've learned up to this point. The final project will be a practical visual use case for VEX from the ground up through the lens of a professional designer. This course is designed to be a standalone resource that can be referred back to for the rest of your career, as we're not just teaching VEX, but also a mindset that you can approach any programming language with. Finding it difficult is totally okay, as the language and syntax will be tricky to pick up at first, especially for VEX newcomers. But the problem-solving abilities learned on this course will help you approach lateral problems encountered across Houdini in a fresh and exciting way. Break things, be creative, and use your new programming intuition to combine learned concepts into something new and fun. You can use this course to think about problems you frequently encounter in a 3D workflow and invent your way around them. Even if it's not going to be the most practical solution, I guarantee you'll enjoy doing so. I'm so excited to share this course and help artists grow and evolve their skill set. I'll be on Discord where you can ask me questions, or your peers, who will also be learning all of these new ideas. I'll be there to help you by explaining concepts in further depth if needed, and walk you through areas that you may end up getting stuck on. I really, really look forward to seeing you all there, and good luck to everyone on the beginning of your deeper technical journey. Thanks so much.